Hello friends, I am Dr. Akshat Jain, an interventional cardiologist at Raipur, Chhattisgarh. Today we will talk about that what is angioplasty. So before that, we need to understand that heart is a muscle pump that keeps contracting and anything that's working needs continuous supply of oxygen and nutrients, which comes to heart by blood. The arteries or blood vessels that supply blood to your heart is called as coronary arteries. Over time, with aging, due to different reasons like tobacco chewing, smoking, sedentary habits, diabetes, hypertension, bad diet, high cholesterol levels, these blood vessels develop deposition of cholesterol inside them which leads to blockade and these blockade obstruct the normal blood flow. Now, these patients who have developed this coronary artery disease may present with different symptoms like chest pain or breathlessness, fatigue during exertion or while working sometimes even at rest. So, how to know that well, whether there is a coronary artery disease or not? So, the definitive gold standard is angiography. Angio means blood vessel, graphy means visualization. So, when you visualize the blood vessels through different way, whether it is CT angiography or invasive angiography, we are able to see the inside of the blood vessels, whether there is obstruction or not. And this can actually lead us to the final and definitive diagnosis whether there is any obstruction or not. Let's say once we find that there is an obstruction, we need to open it, especially if the obstruction is significant. Now the level of significance can differ depending upon your age, depending upon your symptoms and even depending upon the presentation of the illness, whether it is acute, sudden or it has developed over time gradually. So once we have decided that these blocks needs to be opened up, so this opening of your blocks or modification of the blocks inside a coronary artery is called as coronary angioplasty. Now angioplasty can be done by different methods. It can be done, done with plain balloon which is called as plain balloon angioplasty. It can be done with cutting balloon which is called as cutting balloon angioplasty. It can be done with drug eluting balloons which is called as drug eluting balloon angioplasty and it can be done with the stents which is called as stent angioplasty or angioplasty with the stents which is the most common method nowadays at present however with time it may evolve it may change as of now the current guidelines recommends stent is a class 1 or the best method for doing angioplasty now what actually is a stent so a stent is a metallic mesh so what happens once we balloon and open up your artery there is risk that the artery may collapse again due to the required pressure so to avoid this, what we do is we put in a stent. The stent keeps your blood vessels open. At the same time, this stent is coated with drug. The drug inside the stent is continuously released in your blood vessels, which avoids recurrence of blockade or which avoids further development of blockade again inside that segment of the blood vessel. So this was in brief about angioplasty. Let me know if you have any doubts or whether you need an opinion, whether you should actually go for angioplasty or not. I'm always here to connect. Thank you.